cute. Hello. I, I remembered my camera. <laughs> so proud. Uh, Katie, it's been a minute. Hi. How have you been? All right. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. Good. I, 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 I want my hair off. <laughs> yes. That's that's what I wanted to point out. Like, look at that. Look at that. So oh, cool. God. It's, Bam. Wow. Done. Oh, wow. Wow. So wow! Nice. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I mean, just I, I'm just gonna cut in all the meals and saying, "Wow!" wow. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> that was it. quite good. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing about it. Um, you look great. Thank I you. love the new hairstyle. Um, do you want to introduce our fantastic little podcast? Hi, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before. And TV shows, as it seems. Um, I'm Katie. That's Lily K. Hello. We did it. We did it. We made it. We made it, we made it back. Woohoo! Woo uh, we have a lot to catch up on mm -hmm. since we are doing this now every two weeks. So, what have oh. you been watching in the past? Sorry, my, my background's been just flashing green. I can't quite figure out what it wants to do. Um, what have I been watching? Hmm. <laughs> what have I been watching? Oh, I caught up on She-Hulk. Oh, I watched yes, all of it in like one day, yeah, and then yeah, I watched yeah. the final episode because uh, that came out like a few days later. Yes, um, it's fun. It is. <laughs> this, this, this is kind of fun. It is very silly. That it last is. episode was very silly. <sighs> I fucking loved it. It was like it's oh, very, yeah. very silly. I would almost. I mean, this is me being very critical because that's who I am. I think yeah. on the surface level, it is an incredibly joy, joyful, sh and, and fun show, and it's very fine to leave it at that. Just me being who I am. Don't know if they built up the the level of like fourth wall breaking that they ended up going to in that last episode. It was almost like, oh, okay, fucking hey. <laughs> that was just my feeling. I did like it. I just don't know if, if there was enough setup for it to land as well as I'd like it to in the end. But again, I'm being picky. I get to be that way on this, our podcast. I don't think I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's well, been, I mean, that's fair. It's been there from the beginning. Like, I mean, it's there, yes. I just don't know if it, because it, it went so heavy in that last bit. I don't know if it was like, I don't know. It, it for me it didn't quite hit in the way that I think they wanted it to, but I did appreciate what they were going for. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, it was very very silly, supremely it, silly. Yes, that was the point. Uh, and also, oh yeah, it was, I got it, that. It, it was the big <laughs> fuck you sign to all the fuck boys and <laughs> toxic fans who are like. I think <laughs> to me, yeah. I honestly, they also, they, I think the the other thing is I I didn't necessarily find that conclusion to the um intelligentsia arc to be as satisfying i don't um, think it was the point yeah i would have liked it to have been a bit more of a like <laughs> i didn't mind it i didn't mind it I, like i mean but i understand we got charlie it cox back yeah, so true. like properly <laughs> like, he's back and he's great as always and he fucks he fucks <laughs> he's a fuck Sorry, guys but like he fucks <laughs> this, is, this is a known fact. It's a whole. And if you're getting annoyed about it, <laughs> you haven't been paying attention. You haven't read any Daredevil comics, that's for sure. You haven't like, watched any Daredevil. Or, or, or Dan. So, you know, it's him. It's, you know. We, when we first meet him, not as Daredevil, the first thing Foggy asks is if there's a woman in his bed. The guy has a reputation. Yeah. Yeah. He, he be, I think he basically kissed every woman who, who he met. Pretty much, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, I mean, they're gorgeous women, <laughs> so that's you know. Um, yeah, good, good. You caught up on She Hulk. I actually got brought up on yes. She Hulk. Yes, and that's what our is? mini She Hulk review. You're welcome, everybody. Yes, Let, next we're not one. doing a whole episode. No, no, it's fine. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, what's the next one? What did you? What else did you? What watch? else did I watch? Oh God, I mean, it was this is kind of the big thing that i watched in the past couple of weeks i'm trying to think if there was anything else that was like huge um did i tell you about anything else that i watched that i, I don't think you forgetting? did because I, I don't think, think i did because no. i caught up I'm, i've just been i watched critical role i've been watching um dimension 20 those sorts of things i've been very it's just been very busy you know i'm hmm. i've been doing a whole lot Fair. other than working um 
I have I have intentions to watch a bunch of stuff. My plan is to start watching the interview with the vampire series. Yes, you told me that's, about that yesterday. That's my plan. Okay. It's very much up on the, at the top of my list of things to, to do. Fair. I've been, yeah, I haven't really been... I have been I've just sat in front of screens constantly, but I'm not really watching anything. You know, I did try to go back to Truth Be Told on Saturday. Um, oh, this uh, season two. Yeah, because I, I never haven't watched got any. I, yeah. I never got anywhere with it really. Um, no. So I I got to like episode three. It's fun. It's like it's it's it's, it's nice, you know, background noise. Yeah. Um, and I I was just happy to see Hale Appleman, um, who uh, isn't in it very much at the moment. I can't really tell who he is in the show. Hmm. He just seems like he's kind of a dick, <laughs> and that's the that's the role that he's playing. Like he some kind of like executive or producer or something on on mm. um Kate Hudson's mm. broadcast thing. Yeah. That's yeah. about as far as I've gotten with understanding who he is because he's not been in very much. They haven't really introduced him. He's just been there. Okay. That's you know, it happens. I, I haven't watched any of season two yet, so you know I'm it's, behind. It's, it's it's exactly what you would expect it to be so far. I don't know how far into it I'm gonna get. I did watch not um Oh god, sorry, my work WhatsApp is still oh wait. It's seven o'clock, guys. <laughs> Stop working. Um uh I did watch uh, an episode of a couple of episodes of The Problem with John Stewart, uh, mm -hmm. which is John Stewart's new little like, you know, political talk show thing, because they did an episode all about gender identity and and, mm -hmm. and all this stuff in America. Because I saw an interview he did with uh uh the assistant attorney general in arkansas talking about the ban on um basically gender affirming care in, in arkansas which is <laughs> um uh and it is uh, jesus christ the way they go around in circles with each other with john stewart just spouting out like facts and her being just completely not paying attention to them I mean, that's what talking to that is like. Let's just put that yeah. out there. It is yeah. infuriating. And yes. he was like, I bet watching that was a lot like being there. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I can imagine it fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, God. But there's been a lot of um, great coverage on these sorts of things. I think uh, John Oliver just did a, a, an episode of the last week tonight on it, which is annoying because I can't find it anywhere online. Mm. Uh, it's not available over where I am. And I'd really like to watch it. But I'm glad that we're getting this kind of coverage on television and people, you know, showing their research that have just absolutely insane billionaire authors. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it makes me so mad, Lily. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Just breathe in and breathe out. Anyway. That's for uh, my Twitter feed. <laughs> 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 Yell about these things. Um Wait, but did, did, did last the problem with John Stewart was very good. I I I, I forgot that John how you know John Stewart's a very smart man and is very funny yes. as well. He's got a lot of things, and I I was like, oh, okay, I'll go sit down and watch this. Um, my parents keep telling me I need to watch Bad Sisters, which is apparently brilliant. Um, it's an Apple TV series about um these sisters who well, I think one of them's in like a really bad marriage, and it, it, and like with a with like a like the worst the worst guy imaginable. Hmm. Um. And when you, they you meet them, the husband's dead, and there's an implication that they killed him. But they're not entirely sure how, or you know, they, all this sort of stuff. It's apparently very entertaining and, and very, very good. So I, I they, they both said I should hmm. watch it. Interesting, interesting. I haven't heard about it, so I'm just like, hmm. interesting. Apple TV's got a lot of good stuff on. They've been making yeah. a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I haven't been watching too many of them, to be fair. Yeah, no, neither have I. And I've been like, I've got to get back into looking at what Apple TV's made. I've meant to watch the after party for ages and I haven't done that. Um, I started that I and then I just content. I just didn't <laughs> get the hype and I just stopped. I'm going like, to be honest. I like who done it. We know that. So I, I am curious about it. Yeah. Um, so I would, I, I don't know if I need to give it a go, but I, yeah. My brain isn't made for just the amount of content that's out there because there's so much stuff I want to watch, and but I need to like devote time. I can't just watch a thing and be like, yeah, it was good, and then move on to the next one. I have yeah, to yeah, like yeah. 
it's like I haven't watched anything since finishing this. I know it was only yesterday, but like even after finishing it, I was like, I can't go into something else now. I need time <laughs> to process it. <laughs> that's fair. That is fair. That is a fair point. But uh, yeah, I think that's okay um, what about you what about me uh i i just finished watching the watcher which is a new netflix show once yes. again from ryan murphy yes uh, that very... they the buzzfeed on sword episode about it yeah it's really good buzzfeed on sword episode about it actually it's kind of one of my, i think one of my favorite buzzfeed on sword episodes about it it's really funny uh that's all right okay here's my question um and i guess spoilers uh because mm. i know the story the the case of the watcher yes the result episode yes. they don't as titled they don't know who did it no do they decide no on that no okay no. so that's Nothing. just i feel like that is an inherently flawed concept uh to adapt uh, a true crime story that is unsolved. famously unsolved yeah I mean, it's... unless you're going to like base it on that and then make it up an ending for yourselves or I, like I, make up a person who did it. First, I was I, I thought that they were going for that. And then there was even like a little bit of like ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you got freaked out, but it was. Don't worry, we'll have more like... ghosts ooh, yeah. in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but uh, yeah, it, it, they they didn't they they left it as it was like they never found out who was the watcher and nothing like i was like i was a bit frustrated i'm not gonna lie but i like uh what they built around it like how uh the family like especially the dad gets obsessed with the fact that they don't know who it was and why they had to flee the house that they wanted so badly blah 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 so i'm trying to remember the case properly nobody died no. did they it was just like a strange stalking it was just weird yeah it was very weird like, it was weird <laughs> mm -hmm. uh yeah it was all right like some of the acting was proper bad i'm not gonna lie like oh, I, I, I i've been drawing and just mainly listening to it and i don't know who the uh the teenage girl was but i was like ah <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> no thank you I was like, uh, if I slap her <laughs> will it work through the TV no Lily <laughs> I don't I know it was so annoying anyway uh, but uh, yeah it was kind of meh I, 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 they had some interesting things in there but mostly it was like eh yeah, yeah I just think because they, they showed that at, uh, on to um, yeah. and I, I remember I literally was watching the trailer like but they they didn't solve this <laughs> It's like the Zodiac <laughs> killer, like, you know, it never been solved. Yeah, yeah. but there's, at least with, with Zodiac as a movie, the whole thing was about, like, they they kind of pointed towards who they thought, like, the most but, likely yes. the person was in, yeah. that, in that movie, and it was a very effective thriller and all this sort of stuff. True. True. I don't know. Yeah, oh, well. Uh, I watched, uh, I watched Werewolf by Night, which is also a new Marvel short. Yeah, very fun. Fucking loved it. Loved the whole concept and how they, uh, you know, and it was Michael Giacchino who, who directed it, who's, who's a famous uh, uh, composer uh, for fantastic movies. And it's his first uh, uh, movie that he, he oh. did, short film, basically. It was very fun, very good. I, I highly recommend it, uh, especially Ted. That's all I will say. Ted is great. You'll find out when you watch it. I'm not okay. gonna spoil it. Uh, I also I'm so glad that I always write it up now because my brain is like too many things. Oh yeah, I will literally sit at work sometimes attempting to do something and just start going. My brain is a sieve. My brain is a sieve. My brain is a sieve. What was I doing? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I watched Mr. Harrigan's Swarm, which is uh, based on a Stephen King short story. Yes, that uh, has Kirby uh, Baptiste Howell in it. I just she's been pro promoting it, and I thought I've watched the trailer and I was like, oh, okay. Well, this looks. Fun, I guess. Yes. Is it good? If it's, uh, eh. <laughs> it's eh. I got that. It, it, the concept seemed a little shallow if, from the trailer. It could have worked if they would have put a bit more time into it. I feel like, like it, it just came out of nowhere, and it feels like it was like, um, you know, you watched it once and that's it, and nothing memorable. To be fair, 
Uh, I mean, Donna's Shadowland is great, as always. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. It. I feel like that's it, yeah. really. <laughs> that, that's it, basically. And, and I watched one more thing. Wait, I wrote it up. I watched um, uh, the new George Clooney and Julia Roberts movie. Oh, um, that uh, one. Ticket, ticket to Paradise. Ticket I, to, I think. Ticket to, yeah, Ticket to Paradise. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. Ticket to Nowhere, but that's that's not. Uh, uh, it's really fun. It's like uh, you know, it, it's just really fun. I really enjoyed it. A uh, lot of laughter, and these two are just you know. I mean, it's, it's in there like <laughs> little finger like. There you go, enjoy, uh, and I did, uh, and obviously. Uh, well, thank you, George Clooney and <laughs> Julia Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rom com royalty. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And obviously, Rings of Power came to its season one finale. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I did read the spoiler immediately. Uh, uh, it was very fun watching all the reactions to that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to put that out there now. It, it, I'm sure it looks very interesting and beautiful and everything. I, it's just like, I put it down like that. But it's fun to read about. Um, I've never been reading it very closely, but I, I've, I've been looking at a couple of bits and pieces. I just, but I'm, I'm, it's not gonna, it's not gonna tickle me, you know. But I, um, it was very interesting going through. I was like, oh, cool. Don't want to say it out loud because I don't want to spoil it for anybody else. But I'm gonna spoil it. But uh, I found it very, very good, and I'm very annoyed that now we have to wait two, two years to watch the next season. It, it really annoys me that, that that's the case now. I know it means that everybody gets time to actually work on the thing properly and all that jazz, and but it's like, yeah, I you know, I grew up in the days of of you 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 September to May, yes. and then you get the summer off, and exactly. then you're back in September. Exactly, I need that back. I need that back because it's gonna be the same in House of the Dragon, which is fucking brilliant. And I'm like, I'm not gonna like that. Is actually, I am tempted. Because everything Oof. I read and looked at, I was like, this actually looks fucking brilliant. It is fucking brilliant. I'm so glad. I'm really I'm... enjoying reading it, bad. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, everyone is a gift in it, but, like, fucking Matt Smith is, like... He's, he's a really good actor. I, don't I know he's good. a really good actor, but here he's, like, really fucking good. Mm. And also, uh, Paddy Considine is, like... Emmy. All the all the awards just just go just go yeah, to I him. think it looks like it's gonna do very very well. Oh my god, he has to. Otherwise, we're gonna kill someone. No, we're not. <laughs> You've got to stop. They're gonna come after us one day, Lily. They're nah. gonna ask you questions. Oh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> <sighs> um, and now let's jump. Uh, oh, okay, we're right, to, we're right to, into it. Yes, we, we, we get into it because first... No segue, we're just going. We're just going there because... <clears throat> Mike Flanagan? Fuck you. <laughs> Good start. I just want... I'm going to quietly pad this out a little bit before we get into this yes. properly. This is the first of our two uh, horror-based uh, things that we're doing this month. So we're doing this, and then in a couple of weeks you'll get us... We're going to watch all of the Cabinet of Curios Curiosities by Guillermo del Toro. Yes. and various other filmmakers and, and writers um because we, we both kind of went oh hey look that that fills up the month nicely mm -hmm. exactly works um. perfectly so we're gonna just work with that but for now fuck you my friend again <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay yeah you start because i'm like pfft, still okay. not over it let me just again <laughs> continue to, to set up what we're doing here <laughs> yes I know it says it in the title, but we both watched The Midnight Club. Yes. Lily watched it a week before I did, because I, uh, last weekend, was watching She-Hulk, because I had to be Daredevil. It was very important to me. Mm -hmm. um, and and then on Sunday, I went to Portsmouth, so I didn't have time to do mm -hmm. that. And then, you know, work and all that sort of stuff. Um, hence. Anyway, I started it on Saturday. Yes, yeah, so I started it on Saturday. Um after spending the morning watching Truth Be Told. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then I went, ah, shit, really, I should could start um, at Midnight Club. And I first thing I remembered was that I really like how Mike Flanagan shoots his shows, or like just the, the, yeah. the general artistic direction that's around it. I, I was trying to figure out what it was about it that's so specific to him, because it's like it doesn't seem like there's, he's doing anything particularly different. But I think it's because he uses... He uses... Uh, he, he, there's no, um, 
oh, I'm trying to think of the right term. Uh, his depth of field is always like deep, right? It, it, like, no, it's it's not like you have something like like in a, in a in a really wide shot. Mm. Usually, you have like your stuff in the foreground, and then everything yeah. else kind of blurs out. Everything's in focus mm-hmm. when he when he does some of the things, and I think it, it adds to this nature of it feeling really really unsettling all the time. And it's very subtle, and I very much enjoy it, just on a very, very nerdy level. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, something about this feels off. And then you kind of look around and go, why can I see everything? <laughs> <laughs> so, this feels bad. <laughs> but it's in true. a good way. It's true, yeah. But in a good way. A, um, yeah. uh, I texted you on technically Sunday morning, just before I went to sleep, because yeah. I uh, had just finished episode eight. Yes. Uh, and I went, I have been sobbing for the past two hours. <laughs> and I was like, don't you so? Weeping. I know. And I was like, I looked at the time because episode nine had just started. And I went, I cannot watch this episode right now because then I'll watch the next episode and it'll be 4.30 in the morning and I wouldn't watch the entire thing. I need some sleep. <laughs> so I paused it. I went to bed and then I got up the next morning and I watched the last two episodes and they still both made me cry. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Like, you know, what did you expect? <laughs> I just do is you, you, you take a break from something. You think, oh, maybe this won't, you know. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't like. So we'll get into the spoilers properly in a minute. But like, it wasn't like when I fin- it, we watched episode seven, right? It did die down a bit. But just a tiny bit. Just a bit. Tiny bit. Uh, short review. It's very good. It is very good. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's his like best work, but at the same no, time, it's still I don't think good. that uh, that when you compare that to everything else, doesn't really say anything <laughs> because it's still top tier excellent. I agree. I agree hundred percent. I really, really liked it. Even I really liked it. It, it broke my heart yeah. uh, completely. <laughs> And that's You've why got to I said stories about grief, Mike. I can't I, take no, it like, anymore. Pff, just leave us alone for just like, what, like talk about I don't know something else, anything else at this point. I'm like, I'm, I don't want to. <laughs> no, you will have reflections on grief, and love, and what it means to be alive, and mental illness, and all of these themes. And and we're like, know. okay, come on, I'm fine. Like, you know, I here's the thing. Here's the thing. I didn't watch any of the trailers other than the very first one where they are just sitting around in the club and, and it's just literally like the clock it's is that, ticking that and that's it. Not like, from the, the first episode, yeah. but they're all like... Bleh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's that's all I saw because I was like, I don't want to spoil this for myself. I obviously figured that since it's my friend again, it's going to be something about grief mm-hmm. because it's my friend again obviously uh but then i was kind of surprised and it so turns wait, out you didn't know it was all about no kids. oh my god no i didn't <laughs> at least i knew what i was getting into <laughs> so as i in local like the, one of the like the main characters basically Alonga, yeah. she she coughs up all that blood and i was like oh what the fuck is happening i'm not ready for this like we're 10 minutes in and i'm already crying and then it's like <laughs> you have and here's the thing, I do have problems with my thyroid, so obviously it hit home because it's one of my big fears. Like, you have thyroid cancer. And I was like, <gasps> excuse me? No, <laughs> and then I quickly, I quickly and then paused I go, it and I was no, like, you don't have thyroid cancer. <laughs> no, I had to remind myself of that. Uh, but I literally went like, stop, I stopped it. And I quickly went to IMDB and I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to watch dying kids. <laughs> For like <laughs> 10 shit, hours. <laughs> I was so freaked out. I was like, no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was so sad. Oh, I, was like, I didn't know you didn't know that. that I didn't was know. I didn't know. I wasn't ready. I was like, oh god. That's really funny. Um <laughs> Thanks. I didn't enjoy it that much. <laughs> like fuck you guys um but yeah so i was like okay so i will i i prepared myself at that point i was like okay i'm gonna cry and then you started getting into the episodes i had to tell you to stop telling me things because i was like nope i don't want to hear anything else 
Stop telling me stuff. I didn't even tell you any spoilers. I was very careful. No, but, but like, like I was like I was like I don't need to, I don't want you to tell me anything about any of the characters. I just want to go in and make my own impressions. Fine, and I was like, okay, fine. But I just <laughs> suffered alone. It's very hot. I mm-hmm. suffered a lot. It was like, like, don't remind me <laughs> that it's worth <laughs> living <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> like, fuck you. Like, it's so beautiful. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, so obviously, I immediately ordered the book that it's based on. Just oh, okay. out that because I was like, mm, now I need to read this. Uh, I'm, it's a long list before I get to that, but you know, still, it's gonna be here soon. Um, She's still got six of crows sitting next I to know. her bed, entirely unread. I know. You yeah, look. Comic Con is, is, this is my last Comic Con this year, so I will have time until May next year to read and catch up on things and write my book as well. So I'm like, whew, fresh air. Uh, but anyway, I did really, Ooh. really, really whew, like the concept and everything of it, especially once we got to what it's Midnight Club exactly. Hmm. And I gotta say, uh, I loved all the stories. I loved all the stories. All, all of right. them. I think at this point here, we're going to say uh, the spoilers. spoilers. I think from here on out, we're going to say spoilers. Uh, go watch The Midnight Club. It's on Netflix. Ten episodes. Mm. And if you liked any of Mike Flanagan's other stuff, you will enjoy this. Oh, yeah. If you didn't like Mike Flanagan's other stuff, you're probably not going to get as much out of this as you think you are. Yeah. That's I've been seeing that of people going and being like, oh, I don't know what I said. I didn't really like it. It's just sort of like, excuse me. Thanks. Chill. Sorry. <laughs> um, t- talk about the characters first, like yeah, let's talk about yeah. the characters first. Um, despite the fact that I did get very annoyed with Alonka by the end of it, same. I think um, everyone did. <laughs> to uh, be fair. I, but I, I think I, I, the big part of the way that the show is is very good is that the show was incredibly non-judgmental about her, uh, mm-hmm. and I did like that because she was operating from everything she ends up doing. Is out of a place of absolute desperation that is incredibly yes. human, and that nothing nothing feels like like terrible. It's like I he, like she does something very very stupid, but mm-hmm. like that's how cults work, right? <laughs> and they prey on people who are desperate and they want uh, validation and uh, a sense of hope and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it it made sense to me, even if I was sitting yeah, there yeah, like yeah. somebody does need to yell at you though. <laughs> very very much so like oh uh, but that's you know that's the nature of these things and I, I i did appreciate what they did with her i love i just i did love everybody i really did and by the end of it i was like i don't want to leave everybody i don't want them to know i know you i was the same I, even though we got off on the wrong foot you did not like anya at all and i think not that was, i mean as we all very quickly understood it was very intentional I know it was. It worked on me because I'm like, oh shit, this girl needs beating. <laughs> I was so annoyed with her. I was like, and then you get to a point where it's like, no, 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 this girl's been beaten enough, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, <laughs> all of you. Why are you doing this to me? Like, I just want to be judgmental and be right, and I wasn't right, and I was like so no, annoyed. Not was... at all. The moment you sent it to me, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like I she mean, came in and I was like, oh, I know what this character's like. Okay, okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I was so annoyed, and I even texted you that I'm sure that in like a few moments they're gonna <laughs> explain why is she the way she is, and I'm gonna be like, oh, fine, okay, I'm not sad for her. And then and it... literally within about ten minutes, she went, all right, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, fuck off. Very um, funny. Mm. And then I went, stop texting me, thanks. Yes, that's when it happened. I was like, ah, okay, fine. Uh, so I suffered in silence again. Um, but uh, yes, she, she became a, a, a very good character. And I want to shout out, this is her I kind first of role. Rose, I believe. Yes. Uh, first role. She's incredible. Root. Root Cod. Root. She's, she's amazing. She's, yeah, she's very, she's very, very, like, oh, I know I've, once again, when I complain about a character, it's about the character, character not the actor. Character, not the actor. So, Although sometimes you do complain about the actor. Katie, shut up. 
Or <laughs> <laughs> it does happen. Uh, but yeah, no, she was she was great. She's great. She's she's gonna be she's gonna be great. Gonna do some things. really good stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I yeah, I just really liked everyone. To be I fair, loved everybody. I got it was so fun. I love love Spence and mm. the mesh. Really, really yes. desperately. Yes. Both of them very much I mean to be fair but then also Natsuki and and then Cherie I just love everybody yeah I mean everyone was just like perfect casting uh for starters like it's very like and a lot of them are like first timers mm. uh on, on tv and on anything basically um I know that uh Mike Flanagan especially fell in love with Ayofu Rukawa who plays uh Natsuki um and she's gonna be in the fall of the house of Russia. Russia. excellent yes she's uh, excellent <laughs> she's she's great so i was like oh yeah i i can see why um, to be fair she's one of my favorites in the whole thing and i think it was her story that i liked the most should we take a second to talk about that because uh yeah. i really really liked her story yes. i will say i was kind of and, and maybe i can uh talk this up to the fact that when i was watching it it was then about one in the morning yeah so maybe i was tired it took me way too long to catch on to what the fuck was happening oh same <laughs> just same. way too long um i i really I, I got that the story was uh about um her depression like that was very clear from the outset i was like and i understood that those two characters played by some, some mike flanagan you know uh, universe yes, people yes. particularly liked um poppy con actually there's oh, something yeah, yeah, about yeah. The, the, the i very enjoy I, it was something about watching her be that character in that story that was incredibly satisfying and and to me i don't really know how to describe it specifically i think she had just something about the voice and the attitude and the whole thing i was like oh this is just really nice to watch yeah um but like I was like, oh, so these two people are clearly opposing forces and all this sort of stuff. But then she kept going, oh, what's that smell? And I just, <laughs> I didn't get it either. It really did went over my head, and then eventually it started getting closer. I was like, oh, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> it took me until they got to the garage. I was like, oh, yeah. I think I, I think I got it a little, just a little bit before then, because yeah. I was like, I'm seeing the smoke around. I was like uh-huh okay no i think i'm starting to get it now but it, it did take me a lot longer than it should have <laughs> same but it's no shame in it no shame in yeah it. it's fine but it was such a beautiful story and, and a me you know meditation on what it is like to be depressed and and um all those sorts of things um not that i can speak to those specific things you know in Mm. With it, but, but I've known many people who have gone through those sorts of things, and it was very familiar yeah. and sad. And um, uh, I thought it was very. I like there. There was there was such a, a wonderful simplicity to all the stories that were told. Mm -hmm. Um, in in that they had a very simple premise, and they were executed in a way that. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. I want I'm maybe I'll, I'll go uh, dial it back to talking about this one. Um, but I, I, yeah, I just thought it was wonderful. It was I, I, because we, I, when you asked me what my favorite episode was, I did mention this one specifically because it was this like it 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 they'd set a very different tone in at that point in the story because it was such an intimate yeah story that was being told to just one person. Mm. Um. I, and uh, I, I, yeah, I just loved it. It was so, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was just like you know. You uh, say things now. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. no. Like uh, I have experience with depression, unfortunately, and uh, I think it really hit home because they really captured it very well, how it is, and and how you are basically just fighting yourself, <laughs> and that's it. And that's that's the whole thing. But I, but I especially enjoyed about all of the stories because at the end of the day it's all their stories like you know mm. a little bit like just formed into more like uh, a detect a detective story or into uh, a serial killer story which i really enjoyed i was like oh, fuck. <laughs> uh it's like right stay on your life uh, a little stay longer just stay <laughs> a little longer um and you know it's it's it just but it was all about grief and it was all so freaking different. And that's why it, I always loved and 
admired my friend again because the reason he can uh, make so many movies and TV shows about grief is that uh, he can always give new perspective on it, mm -hmm. which is very refreshing because you would think that it, it gets tired after a while, but no, once again, it, he proved that it honestly doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's you know, and it's it's something that, that needs to be talked about. Uh, so, you know, I think these shows can actually help a lot. I, yeah, um, it does give me a, a little kind of segue into what I was thinking about, which was what I found very impressive about each of the stories. Yes. Was that there was a couple of points where you're sitting there like, oh, this feels a little bit like awkwardly, like the sort of dialogue in the scene feels a bit mm. awkward. And then you go, of course it does. It's being written by a bunch of kids who are just sort of telling it at a, at a table. Yeah. And it was kind of, I was sitting there going, this is genius, actually. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Like, like, like the detective stuff was like, oh, it was really interesting and everything, but you're like, oh, this is a bit overwritten in places. Of course, it's a bit overwritten. Like, it's, you know, they made it up, so obviously. She made it up, and it's about well, delved into your age report. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, like, I, I, I really liked, uh, which is like, you know, the first time I think I mentioned her, I was like, pretty obvious, I don't like her. And then I think Anya has one of the best stories. I really like these two like the, personalities. The, the two Danas, yeah. and, and, and I was like, ooh, this is very good. It was one of the first stories, if we don't count. Uh, uh, the 21 Jump Scares? Yes, the 21 Jump Scares, which is new. I, just were, I was sitting there watching that like, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, this is... You, you, what you've done here is you've done it to death to the point where it's... Yeah, I, I I loved reading the article about it afterwards. Where it was like, check me in my twenty one Guinness World Record jump scares, uh, and you can never tell me to do a jump scare again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, I respect you so much. Yeah, <laughs> you're sitting there going like, okay, this is a bit excessive, and it's like, yeah, that's the point. That's that's the whole point. Um, but uh, Anya's story was really good. Uh, obviously she got two stories uh and i i think what was smart about the anya episode which mm. which was titled after her obviously after the ritual that goes mm. sideways is that for a good 15 to 20 minutes i thought you that, like <laughs> yes i honestly thought that she got out she's better now and everyone has died and i was like this cannot be how they ended like you know <laughs> like it's, and it, it, was, it and was kind of the opposite it was yeah and i was very surprised by it so it was like it was very well done that's what i'm trying to get at like okay you, you let me on i honestly thought that it's just gonna be like this is the end everyone is dead the only survivor is her done that's it end of story and i was like this kind of sucks <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is like oh. the whole thing, like it only worked for her and no one else, and blah 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 blah. Because obviously, the bigger story here uh, that starts the whole thing is Ilonka trying to survive and finds this magical place after she's been told that you know it's terminal and 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 uh, she she can't do anything about it. And she hears about this girl who's uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, her Julia name's... Jane. Yes, Julia Jane, uh, that magically disappeared for a week, came back, and she was she was cured, and that's it. And and she's Ilonka is determined to find out how like, she I'm did gonna it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna yeah. be better. I'm gonna go to do all the stuff and I want to do. All, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's uh, Iman Benson plays her, and I think she she was great. Like she's she's excellent. She she was fucking great. She was she was wonderful thing. throughout the entire thing. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, that's why it works so well uh by the end like you know all this <laughs> frustration but yeah it is it is but it, it, it and it's so it makes so much sense because it, it is that sort of sense of like you when you when when because why wouldn't you be in that kind of like yeah heavy state of denial because like everything has been ripped away heavy from state, you yeah uh and it's like but it gets to the point where it's like you need to face the reality of what you are looking at here. It's not working and you have to face and move forward because it's not good for the other people around you, not yeah. only you um, and your, you know, 
I've ran out of words. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is went it gone. <laughs> um, yeah, she was some. She, yeah, she did, did that little bit of a conversation in the last episode where she goes, I'm not dumb. I'm, and she's like, yeah, I know you're not dumb. I'd be saying that you're dumb. Uh, I, and I went, <laughs> but like, <laughs> in that sense of like, no, no, you're not dumb. You were manipulated. And yes. I understand that entirely and all this sort of stuff. By the way, on the other flip, flip side of, of not picking up what um, Natsuki's... Um, uh, story was putting down. I did pick up immediately after meeting. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that's Julia Jane. <laughs> that's Julia Jane. Yeah, mostly because there's someone to slow in who plays her. And I, I like... the, 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 that it wasn't that was not my reasoning. I was just like, she's too close to this place for it not to be her. Like that. That just narratively speaking, I'm like, yeah, that's that's the only thing that makes sense. Here. <laughs> that's that's fair for me. It was like, oh, it's Samantha. Okay, it's that's gonna be Julia. I did. I, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see the shift in her um, actually being, um, you know, working for herself and, and, and actively manipulating. I did buy it. So, you know, much like I did buy into the fact that I thought that she was being kind. Yeah. I thought, I thought that there was a sense, but then you can see her getting more and more desperate. And I was like, something feels wrong here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. She's By the end of it. Be. but she once again proved that she's just great yeah she's just fucking great that's it that's all i didn't hate her as much as i did in no, no, midnight no. Mass. There's, like... there's an entirely different <laughs> vibe here uh she's not playing the uh worst type of uh religious uh, zealot um yeah thank uh, thank my friend again for that i was like not again please and no it didn't yeah, happen so again. i was like oh She's actually great, but I just couldn't send her in midnight mess. I was oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, very much so. Um, she's still great. Yeah, she's, still great. she's um, she's, she's very good. I'm trying to think of a, a cohesive way to continue with this episode. <laughs> um, uh, I was very happy that we saw a lot of Mike Flanagan people in here. Yes, I, I said this, Dave. One of my first things that I said to you was like, I was just really happy to see Zach Guilford yeah. be just nice and sweet and, and just generally lovely the entire time. Nothing bad happened to him. I know. He was just a really sweet, good presence for everybody. I loved his whole relationship with Spence. So good. I like, loved it desperately. I, mm -hmm. and I, I think as much as I loved Natsuki's story, I think Spence's... Um, arc throughout the mm -hmm. entire season was probably my favorite same same, um, same, same. just stunningly done stunningly mm -hmm. acted so beautiful um and uh, uh i did it's such a silly little moment but that bit in in, in the second episode when he slices his finger and, and mark's like stitching it up and like with pitching interview with the vampires to him. <laughs> it's like every time you tell me you say, yes and you need to watch this movie <laughs> <laughs> do it fair I just but think it's very and I just, but I just like that that was the energy that he got to bring into this. Just somebody who was like, just you know, a good, kind presence to everybody, especially after he was so sad in it like that. He he deserved it. It was a good yeah. break for him. I I think he's gonna be once again the sad boy in, in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna get to that when it comes out. But uh, Raul Coley, obviously, I was very happy. So happy when he showed up. I was up. very <laughs> happy when he showed up. I was like, my boy, he's back. And it, it just makes so much sense for him to come in obviously. and be like the game guy. <laughs> obviously, like if you follow him on Twitter, yeah, yes, that's his. Like <laughs> that's him. <laughs> just like getting to have him and then uh, Michael Trucco. Yes, uh, Trucco. Also wonderful to see the, those two together. I find them mm -hmm. uh, great. I, that, that was the one that actually I had the most, I, I felt that thing the most of like, oh, this dialogue is a little bit like, a little on the nose in places. But I was like, no, it, it makes sense for the voice of the story that is being told right here. It, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit over the top, but in a way that is, feels incredibly intentional. And I, I, and mm -hmm. I really, really liked that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just liked, and I mentioned it before. I just really, really love Amesh. Oh, such Amesh a sweet boy. Yes, 
It was it was just great. And I will also yeah. mention that two yeah. two of the kids, mm. uh, Igby Rigney and Anara uh, Simone, were both in Midnight Mass as well. They played Sandra so, and Kevin. Yes. Yes. That there they are. There they are. They're next to each other, behind yes. my head. Yes. Um, yes. They were also I did. in Midnight Mass. Yeah. Um. So they are also my friend and favorites. I think my everyone he works with is just fast. <laughs> He just finds people. He's just, like, no, you're good. I'm going to keep you now. You're just going to keep me. I'm, I'm like, yes, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> and he's correct. I was like, it's like, he's correct for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, uh, I really, really fucking love this show, uh, even though it broke my heart so many times. Like, fuck you again. Yeah, pretty much from episode five on, yeah, I think I just cried like, at every single episode. Every single episode, I was like, <laughs> I think I even, I, I, I think that was the point where I wrote you, like, my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Katie, my eyes! <laughs> It really did hurt by the end. I was like, oh. Oh, the, the, that, when I was telling you, the, like, my, I was like, I have a headache. It, like, it was like all my sinuses is, like, properly, like, sw they were swollen because yep. I was just stopping so much. Yep. 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 <laughs> Lying right. in bed and having to, like, flip my pillow over just because I'd soaked it in tears. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you, you, you have to stop doing this to us, Mike. It's not fair. It's not fair. Like, the emotions, everything is like, oh, done. Uh, but, you know, I just can't stop thinking about the fact. And I will just say once again that Midnight Club is fucking awesome. And if you have time and the uh, emotional capacity, capacity. you need it, <laughs> yeah. go and watch it. Please, I beg you. It it's also so fun. Love. I feel it like is. we should also mention that there's it's a lot fun. of fun. Yes. Uh, and uh, the stories are incredibly fun. Uh, yeah, they're like, really, really fun little stories. Beautifully um, done and acted as well. Like I can't say that enough. It's it's everyone is just so great at it. But I just can't think about the fact that in in um in the next one we're gonna get Mark Hamill in the True. My Friend Again universe, and I'm like, oh, oh boy, oh, boy. Be, oh god, gonna be something. Yeah, I just I love Mark Hamill. You all yeah. know that. And I'm, when they announced it, I was like, my dreams yeah, the, 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 true. Uh, we'll also, we get Kate Siegel back, which will be lovely because I, 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 we I love I, Kate. Love Kate. Um, I feel like this. I think this is the first time he's not. Yes. But his wife finished the theory. No, not the first one. I don't think no. she was in Doctor Sleep. No. Okay. I was thinking about specifically the. Oh, the T. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Um, Fair. No, she uh, wasn't in this one, which was very weird. It was. <laughs> it was. There. It did feel a bit <laughs> odd. Uh, but she'll be back. She'll be back. We'll be, be back. her back. So um, good. and we'll be getting more Zach, which I'm very happy about. More Zach. I mean, with the moment he came back in, I was like, I missed you. I missed yes. watching you. Yes. Really good. Yes, he's just great. I think we are. Uh, uh, if... Maybe should back, isn't he? Yeah. Can I make uh, him I think Hamish There's is a lot back of people well. in in the house of the fall of the house of Asha. Like the the cast list is long. Mm -hmm. I'm um, gonna check it. That's the easiest hey, well, way. You check it, and I will bring up some of the things that were left a little bit open-ended at the end of the season. Which is very um, annoying because it is know, a little now bit we, annoying. we have to be like, please make season two. It's like, are you going to make more? I don't know if I can deal with more, but like, are you making more? Do um, more. I was incredibly confused by the final scene with, with Stanton taking off her wig and you seeing the thing. I was like, the fuck is that meant to mean? It has been pointed out to me since then by the internet that she's probably Athena. She the is. daughter... And yeah. I did not get that. Took it just didn't get that at all. It had to be. I was like, oh, oh, I'm yeah. Again, um, didn't like. Um, I just literally was like, what? <laughs> but then it begs the question: Does that mean that it actually works, and it's not just you know? And I stand by what I said when you asked me that. I was like, I bloody hope not, because that kind of, you know, undercuts the whole point. In that it's like these things are inevitable, and the, the idea is to accept and live properly, and which is exactly the thing that Stanton is is going for, and I think is, I think, feeds into the fact that it doesn't work. Yeah. Um. Uh, in that she, because she is the the embodiment of like, I watched my mother go insane. Uh, this can't be happened again. We just should, you know, mm -hmm. she she was the witness to it going so far in that direction. She's like, we have to stop this now, and it, it obviously it makes so much sense now. I think about it, but 
<laughs> and the time when I finished it, I was like, what? <laughs> 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 what see? Uh, Shasta or Julia Jane escaped. Yeah. She's just gone. No idea where she went. So you're like, what's going to happen to her? We like... don't know what the old man and the old woman were about. That's my thing. I was so annoyed with that. I was like, D I don't know what I, that was about at all. Because that did seem like ghosts. And then they're that, like, nah. <laughs> that was that one story that they tell. Like, it's it's the two. Oh, shit. See, that's a week. It, it does this with my Describe brain. the story. I finished it like a day ago. I, I think it's like when uh, Ilonka finally mentions them. And uh, that the fact that Spence, not Spence, uh, uh, Kevin. Kevin also uh, seen the man. I mm. think uh, uh, they are like okay, but there is this story. I think it's actually uh, then they start talking about folio do and, and, yeah, 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 and, and yeah, yeah. the the, uh, the Japanese um, the Japanese folk tales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it was called no. off the top of my head. Um, Me neither. I know, I know what you mean. It's like uh, the 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 spirits that feast on the years, uh, oh, the years of, yeah, yeah. of people who who should have had more life and didn't. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like as a as a concept. I think that works very, very, very well. I feel like they did that in Supernatural at some point. I think so too. To it feels fair. very familiar. Yeah, it feels um, familiar. So it's uh, very, so it very like. I guess that makes sense. But it's sort of like you kind of sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> Out. I don't yeah. know. Because they're both seeing the same people and they're all like nah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're just both nuts. <laughs> I'm highly suspecting that there might be a season two in there. I think that there's a I, I feel like I saw talk about it. I don't know if it's like that nothing's been confirmed. I know, but like, you know, it definitely left it open, so yeah, we're going to find out, I guess. I was very annoyed with the old men and old women thing being like a sideline uh, at the end. Like, mm. what was that about? Uh, also, uh, here is the returning people. Uh, okay. Root Cod, who's Anya, is coming back. Oh, and, sweet. Great. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Samantha Sloyan is coming back, obviously. Yes, obviously. Zach, Zach Guilford is coming yep. back. Igbe Rigney, who's, who's Kevin. Uh, in this one, and he he was also in Midnight Mass. Uh, Kate Siegel. She's not in this picture. I can't take no. quite a point. Uh, Carla Gugino, uh, who was in, oh yes, um, uh, uh, mother uh, haunting of the house, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and also in the mom of in Spy Kids. Yes, I'm. Yes. <laughs> God, uh, Aya Furukawa is there behind Wait. you, right behind you. Uh, no, no, Aya, Aya, Aya. No, not Yuki. No. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I was like, well, there you I'm go. Really, I'm <laughs> a character name because I'm there are a lot of women here. <laughs> uh, Raul Coley is obviously back. Yes. Uh, here's the interesting one. Uh, the janitor from this one, the janitor, or however yes. you say. He was it. also in Midnight Mass. He was the uh, yes, the Rob guy with the big beard. Robert Longstreet is coming back. Uh, I I liked well. his um. Sorry, um, I liked his uh, role in this series. Actually, I think Same. it was a very understated piece, but it was really oh, so necessary and sweet yes. one. Yeah, because uh, he's like he's just there and he's like clearing up and he's making things nice, and it, he he just like fits a very specific um, mold. Isn't really the right word I'm looking for, but like fits a very specific you know space. Yeah, uh, and fills it incredibly beautifully. Where it's just sort of like. Yeah, I'm going to be the one who meets you here in the aftermath of something incredibly terrible. Let me give mm. you some, some some things to, to think about and, and to ruminate on and feel better about and all that sort of stuff. And it just was nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, Mark Hamill yes. is coming in. Uh, Bruce Greenwood. Not returning. He's new. <laughs> he's, he's new. Bruce Greenwood as well, who I, I really, really like. Uh, mm. Nia Miller. Who was no, 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 in, go back. Um, who's, who's Bruce? Um... Bruce Greenwood, uh, he oh, he was in a bunch of stuff. Uh, he was in Star Trek. He is he in any he... of this, the the Flanagan verse? I don't think he was in any of the Flanagan movies. Okay, in which case I don't before. have. I... So no, I'm just saying him because I I like him a lot. So I'm very what happy. What was his name? Gonna... Bruce Bruce Greenwood. Greenwood. Uh, uh, Canadian uh, actor. Tania Miller is coming back. Who was in uh, Hunting of uh, not the Hill House one. The fuck is Lime that? Manor. Thank you. 
Oh my god, my memory is not working. Uh, oh, oh, yes, no, I know this guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hey, I love him. He's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, I think first glance, that's it. That's all the people that we already know from the Mike universe and, and just love them. And there's obviously a lot of other people in the, in the guest list. The Flanimers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. This, uh, anything else to add, add oh, to oops, the I should have, Sorry, I closed my tab, which is my front light. Yes. <laughs> which, there you oh go. no, I've gone dark. Um, do I have any? Do, uh, do you? Um, I really, we didn't talk about Sherry very much, but I really like Sherry. Oh, Sherry's great. Sherry's wonderful. I love this, this, this sweet moment of her coming in and I, I know exactly what she'd done the moment mm -hmm. she came in with that box. Yeah. Um, I, I thought she was getting a hat, which was why I was really confused for a bit. And then when she came in, I was like, oh, she's got a wig. She got a wig. Yeah. She's very, very sweet. And it's, I know she voiced the fact that she missed her hair and she loved her hair and all this other stuff. She looked good with the short. It was, it was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute on her. Yeah. She looked very cute. Very the long cute. hair also suited her as well, but like the, the short, it was, it was cute. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Very cute. I just like the fact that Cherie was like, oh, she's a compulsive liar, but there was like no judgment about it. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. she wasn't, and it wasn't. She she didn't get annoyed about people calling her out on it. She was just like, yeah, well, you know, I'm fucking lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> you get to decide for yourself. What's true or what's not? Um, she and she kind. just did. She she had I think some of the sweetest and most kind moments mm -hmm. uh, of the series, which I found to be wonderful. Just yeah. the yeah, her giving Amesh the the PlayStation. Um, oh, it was so so good. So good, and her picking up the story when she couldn't. When when Eloka couldn't continue it, because Sherry rides for free, mm. but not at that moment. She paid her dues at that point. Mike, <laughs> stop it! Oh. I'm gonna cry again. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! It's a, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, she's the only one without a story. Intentionally so. Very interesting. But anyway, uh, big thing is that. Uh, you're gonna watch this this week, people, and then we're gonna be meeting the next week, which is very exciting. Always. Uh, week after next. No, next week. Next Sunday. Uh, oh yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Sorry, just yeah, it's just I I kind of think of next Sunday as being the Sunday coming up, which is no, not this <laughs> the week after that. Yeah, so it's gonna be very exciting. I can't wait gonna get the biggest hug that's the big news because it's mcm comic con time mm. so i'm over there again uh and that's then... time i'm going and i haven't got plans to like meet anybody specifically other than you i mean like by, like by a thing i may go see robbie damon i haven't decided about it yet that's fair that's fair i'm seeing uh, uh i mean they announced i was so happy oh, so happy they announced tom welling as well he, oh yes that was very I, fun um, I, I i grew up with smallville so i was like <gasps> Bye, 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 immediately. Also, I mean, I knew that Mike, I know Michael Sheen's going to be there, but like, I already don't got know my if I should, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of money at the moment. <laughs> I mean, same, but I didn't care. Like, yeah, but you, you, you're coming <laughs> all the way here. You may as well. I've um, yeah. I, I, I bought an Apple. Uh, no, it's not an Apple Watch. I keep calling it that. It's decidedly not an Apple Watch. It's a Google Watch. <laughs> Oh yeah, yes. I, I, saw I bought a Google one. box watch. Uh, it's not arrived yet. I'm still waiting for it to ship. Um, is it, but it was pre-ordered thing, isn't it? Yeah, it was a Fitbit. But, so uh, it's the the sub processing, and we've had a bunch of them. Oh, okay. Personal strikes and stuff, and I think there's just yeah. fine. 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 It'll turn up at some point. I just it, it will, just hasn't it yet. It will. It will. Hundred percent. Uh, but yeah, and then we're gonna be back talking about Guillermo del Toro's. Uh, Cabinet of Curiosities. And Curiosities. Then we're and then we're doing Black Panther. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And then yep, we don't yep. have any plans after that. Yes, we do. Do we? Yes, we do. What's after that? My dear, it's Avatar time. It, that's not that close. It's like... It is. Like, just think about it. We're doing these two weeks things. It's going to be literally like Guillermo del Toro, Black Panther, Avatar. Mm. That's Maybe sad. there's like one more episode in between that. I was like... gonna say I think there's one more episode in between. I think you're I think you're skipping ahead. I don't care. It's I think like, it I'm might be so excited. 
This is how we find it. I'm going to trek in now. But there I might I... be two, to be honest. Yeah. Wait, no, just one. Because it comes out on the, like, in the week of the, the, your birthday, right? Yes. It's my birthday gift. I always look at it. Yeah. It's like we have an episode on. Oh, this Black really doesn't matter. So, no, sorry, no, I'm looking at the dates. So, we've no. got the episode this week, which is the 20th, and then we've got one yes. on the 3rd. Yes. Then we have one on the 17th, which is that's Black Panther. Yes. And then the next one we have is on the 1st. Oh, no. I just, yeah, you're right. Told you. But there is. No. <laughs> I mean, I was, also, I was also right. And there was. A, you, you did skip one. I did skip one. That's true. That's true. That uh, was all I was thinking. I was like, we are definitely not going straight from Black Panther into no, no, Avatar. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. There's going to be one in between, but just, we're just going to find out which one it's going to be. Well, it's probably going to be like, what are you excited for next year? Woo! Or something. We figure it out. Uh, but anyway, this was us talking about the uh, Midnight Club. Club. Uh, and then we're going to be back in two weeks probably with a live because i'm literally coming back on monday <laughs> so probably it's gonna be another live stream we're gonna talk about it we figured it out yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we figured it out but we love you guys and we don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and, no. and all that stuff <laughs> and uh, we love you all goodbye